In our videos, you have come across two kind of clips. The first one. And the second one. Pahare aladai beauty aser je jai bolu. Somudu to mudu bolay. Oh my god. Just look at it. Konta bagla jora. Wow, but you ta you ta tore. In these two clips, you could find a starting difference. That is, in one of the clip, the audio was captured properly in the GoPro, and in another one, it didn't. So, in order to take care of the first clip that you have seen, we do a voiceover. How we do it? Let's take a look. It often happens that we come across some very beautiful sceneries when we are on our ride, but uh, when we share our feelings. you are unable to hear the reason being is that we speak while we are writing and uh, because of the wind noise our voice does not get recorded properly in the grow pro so we come back home and while we are assembling the video we do a voice over so this is a kind of setup that we use for our voice over it is always not possible to do a voice over so how do we take care of it today we will go through few of the components that we can use along with the go pro and attach it to our chin mount when we go to our ride so stick till the end of the video where i'll reveal all the prices of the components of our motor vlogging setup so now we'll head to a different location to test out the components follow us and now we'll do the mic test and also see how good the setup is so let's write so now the helmet visor is open so that we will be able to understand that how much noise cancellation is done when we move on a high speed we'll close the visor and then we'll do a separate test the helmet visor is closed and we'll move in the high speed and see how good the recording is the helmet does feel a bit heavy maybe on the long trip we can understand the difference but right now the helmet is moving a bit down but it is still okay doing two takes in the first one we'll keep the helmet visor open so the wind can flow inside and uh, we will be able to know how the noise cancellation work and second we'll be doing the take with the visor closed in which we'll be able to understand if the mic pick up the sensor pipe sound so here we go for the first one so at this speed the bike noise i hopefully will be covered properly but i don't know if my voice will be heard properly or not so that goes the first take now we'll return back and we'll take the second take now we'll take the second take in which the helmet visor is closed and we'll see if the bike's engine sound is heard clearly or not so here we go So that was the second take. So with this two take, I think hopefully we'll be able to properly analyze how will the Sony's mic work. There is a considerable difference in the video clip as well because now we have placed the GoPro in upside down position and we have fixed that angle as recommended by my friend who goes by the name of Einstein and he is also the one who has shot the cinematic shots. So I'll leave a link of his channel in the description below. Do check it. We are going to now reveal the components and their prices. First, we have Pro 3.5 mm mic adapter, Sony ECM LV1 stereo mic. To attach the setup to our helmet, 
we have Telesin chin mount. Last but not the least, we have Ulanzi G94 plastic cage. This is the total cost that we have invested in our setup to bring you better quality videos. So that's all for this vlog. Stay tuned for our next adventure.